Hello and welcome everybody uh, into building web applications with Shiny and uh, SQL. This is the application we're going to be building. Um, it's a fully functioning application. You can go to this website uh, and see it uh, working over there. Uh, here we're going to have the different phases of a Six Sigma project um, with the different tabs and then for each phase you can have on a sidebar uh, sub-phases uh, as for example the, the roadmap, phase description, guiding questions and then here on the project register is where we're going to be implementing the SQL phase. Uh, you can search for a project by name. Uh, you can edit the record. Uh, you can link uh, other tables with drop downs uh, like these. And then um, update gives you successful update message. Uh, you can do new, delete, uh, so all the operations you need uh, to build a database application. And then we're also going to see how to build these um, drop downs on a sidebar and uh, live graphs. So if I come over here and I change uh, the value of a graph. Um, it builds the new graph gives you the equation of the loss function uh, so we're gonna see how to link these graphs uh, to the menu and uh, text input functions so let's jump right into it um, I'm gonna assume that you already have RStudio installed uh, if not, there are plenty of tutorials online and that's pretty straightforward. Um, I'd like to start by uh, showing you guys how to install SQLite or uh, MySQL. Um, as long as you use SQL, uh, standard SQL in your code, Either of these will, will work. Uh, the advantage of using SQLite is uh, when you deploy your application on shiny.io, it's simpler and um, more straightforward because with SQLite, all your tables go into a single, um, a single file. And uh, when using SQL uh, or My, MySQL, uh, it's a little bit more complicated. You have to actually have two servers, one that's going to host your Shiny application and another server that's going to host your uh, MySQL database. And um, so that's uh, a probably a paid service so I see as an advantage to start with uh, SQLite and uh, as you get volume and attention to your application you can migrate to, uh, to a paid uh, MySQL server uh, apart. You can get SQLite on this website sqlite.org uh, slash download. Uh, you can scroll down here at the binaries for uh, Mac OS and Windows. Um, as an IDE for <coughs> SQLite, I would suggest um, SQLite uh, Studio. You can get it on this uh, website. Uh, the installation once you, you download is uh, 
pretty straightforward. As for um, MySQL, you can um, download uh, MySQL on this web page on, on downloads, and then you can go to MySQL community server, click on the downloads, and double click on the file. Uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward uh, from then on. And then as um, an IDE, um, I suggest you use uh, MySQL Workbench. As of this recording, the latest version is 6.3. Uh, you can just click on this page, download, and, uh, and install. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward uh, after that. Uh, I also selected here a link uh, that discusses the advantages and disadvantages of using uh, SQL Lite and MySQL. Okay, so um, you can go to this uh, web page there and uh, I'll put I'll put this link uh, on the comment sections section uh, down below so uh, it's easy for you to get. But the main advantage, like I said, of using SQLite is that uh, it makes your uh, publish you your publishing of uh, your application a lot simpler. Um, because you can just put on a on a certain directory uh, uh, specified by Shiny IO, and when you publish, it already copies your database into the Shiny IO uh, web server.